Hello, I'm the Resolute Cartographer, and this is the 82nd video of my Fallout 76 Surveil project, and here we are at the Treehouse Village. This location has already changed a bit uh, since Wastelanders came out. Uh, unfortunately, I did not catch it before the Wastelanders back here returned, but we can take a look at it now. Uh, so let's take a look at this place. Now, I've been here three or four times before this, so I've gotten some locations of the collectibles. Uh, they've changed since the launch of the game, so I'm not going to be able to tell you exactly where everything is. But for example, there's a uh, power armor chassis that does spawn right here. Uh, these uh, settlers are really annoying, by the way. They all say the exact same three or four phrases over and over again. But anyway, uh, let's go around the ground first. Okay, so again, coming here from the east. Let's take a look at the map, actually, because we haven't looked at that yet. Just to the west of Haven Church over this river here. Okay, so if we take a look around the ground here. Again, there's the power armor chassis or anything. There's a generator up there. We got a little speedboat over there. Uh, and uh, a wave runner right here. Taking a look over here, there's a rowboat. There's a little uh, fishing stand over here where they can clearly uh, do some fishing in this local swamp. Uh, we can head up here, but this is just a ramp up. So we can see there's an old dump truck that they brought out here. Uh, coming around here, we got uh, these trees holding up everything. Walking around the bottom of it though. We can see they've used a whole bunch of different implements to hold everything up, like this stack of crates here. There's an old jeep here, that's another route up. Coming around here, uh, yeah, again, a whole pile of uh, barrels holding everything up. There's a water purifier right here. Well, not a purifier, what's this called? Oh, I guess it is a purifier. I thought it was like a pump. Anyway, um, yeah, we got another stack of those crates there. Or was that the first stack? No, that's the second stack of crates. That's the other thing. This place um, has chunks of it that are kind of repetitive. I apologize if the frame rate kind of drops on this one. The, the uh, fog around here really does seem to do an, a number on it. Uh, heading over here, we've got a little metal shack here where they do some more fishing. A little cooking area. Another way up right there. Water purifier right there. There's that speedboat that I pointed out in the first place, and there right there is the power army chat power armor chassis thing. Uh, we got a plain chassis hanging right here, and the plain wing is actually uh, up here, and we'll take a look at that in a minute. Actually, it looks like there's a second wing here, maybe? Because that looks like the same material. Anyway, uh, let's head up these stairs. Okay, got a little antifreeze bottle there coming in here. We can close that door, but there's a bedroom here. Maybe somebody's living space because you got a table for them to eat. Got a couch out here. That's exactly the same thing they say all the time. Got a nice lamp there. Okay, and sec checking inside this fridge here. Nothing in there. We got a recipe here for Delbert's Pothole Pot Pie. Uh, we got a toolbox here with some junk in it. Checking inside Lauren's terminal. All right, so we've got four terminal entries here, all from 2081, September through November. Let's check out September 19th, 2081. The raiders chased us for almost two hours before my daughter Darlene spotted the treehouse. We scrambled up the rope ladder, praying they wouldn't follow. We crouched low and waited until the raiders passed beneath. That's when we opened fire. Our elevated position gave us a huge advantage and we took them down in seconds. I don't think they even knew where the shots were coming from. It was at that moment we knew that our Free States group had found a new home. September 21st, 2081. While the thought of living in Mayship Tree Fort seemed clever, we didn't realize the huge amount of work we'd have ahead of us. Caroline volunteered to hike down to Gavin McCullough's cabin to see if his group wanted to join up. Before the war, Gavin was a master carpenter, so he'd have the skills and tools to get the job done. Fortunately for us, his group agreed to give us a hand. With their help and Gavin's know-how, we had a solid platform built within a day. We were exhausted, but Gavin promised that the best was yet to come. October 30th, 2081. It's been a little over a month and our dream of a tree fort has turned into more of a treehouse village. Gavin designed a way for us to use the other trees to build a series of interconnected platforms. It was pretty damn clever. Everyone would have their own platform with living quarters and a roof over their heads. Like We'd be close to each other, but each group would still have some privacy. Finding that child's treehouse was turning out to be the luckiest thing that ever happened to us. And November 19th, 2081. I woke to gunshots and Gavin yelling that we were under attack by raiders. We ran to the windows and returned fire. We were able to run the raiders off, but the damage was done. We'd lost Arlene. It was clear that our treehouse village wasn't enough to keep everyone safe. The raiders would keep coming, and then slowly, we'd keep dying. We decided to give up our home and move on. To look for somewhere safer. I'm going to leave a few traps behind as a parting gift, just in case some raiders return to finish the job. 
a little payback for what they did to my sweet Darlene. Okay. So yeah, there you go. A uh, group of free staters built this place. And now it's filled with these uh, wastelanders that came back after uh, we defeated the Scorched Beast. Well, the Scorched Queen, I should say. Uh, we got a uh, little turned over uh, end table there, some toys, Tinkerer's workbench here, pool uh, pool table here with all these uh, pool balls. That's a good amount of plastic right there. There's a recipe that spawns right here on this shelf. In this case, we've got a disease cure from the mire, although that's a random thing. Cooler with some food, a gun, and some ammunition, and some goggles. Then we got a couple of... Uh, Porta potties here, nothing in those. And here's a plane wing. Now again, I pointed out that other one. Uh, that one may be one, but this one definitely is one. Obviously, we can come over here. We got another bedroom, like the uh, note said. People were living in these multiple different uh, platforms. Got a footlocker here with some good junk in it. This I originally didn't know what it was until I really paid a little bit more attention. And it was stupid that I didn't realize what it was when I first first looking at it because the fishing rod. This is a fishing hole. They would actually. Uh, fish directly out of the uh, the hole there. Uh, originally I was like, why would they be building a fire pit on this wooden platform? And then, anyway, I was being stupid. Uh, we got an ammo box here with some good ammunition in it. A, uh, and a little generator right there with some junk sitting around it. In fact, I'm going to take that wonder glue and that used oil can. We got an orange canister. Uh, then we got a uh, tool case right here. Okay, and I can even jump up on the roof here. Not really much to see, just got a hole here. Okay. Dropping back down here, we can head across this little bridge to the armory. Looks like it might rain later. Now then, checking this area out, we got a torque end rod, so we got some steel over here with these wrenches. We got the paint cans, some uh, coolant bottles over there. Uh, lockers here with some more paint and some more other junk inside the lockers. Checking out the first floor here before we go up, we got a uh, wonder glue here. Some duct tape, so good source of uh, adhesive here. Uh, coming around here, we've got this old terminal, some other just random little bits of junk, more empty paint cans. Uh, then we right here, we got a weapons workbench. This is a little blocked off area, but you can see that they've got all kinds of nice supplies in here. Unfortunately, you can't get in there because they've got some guns, uh, some, some ammunition. Look at all that adhesive. Oh man, and that ballistic fiber. That would be excellent to be able to get in there. Unfortunately, this is locked up. Uh, let's head upstairs. And we got the steamer trunk for the location. This one has a plan and a treasure map. That's uh, in the monorail. And some bobby pins. Uh, then we got a uh, adjustable wrench there for a gear. I'm going to grab that. Some super thought antifreeze. I'm going to take that as well. Got some acid in there. Another adjustable wrench. Got some good loot here. Uh, then we got uh, some uh, ham radio over there. And some of these diagnostic stands. I'm not sure why they would bring those here. but Because the, that's the thing. You have to consider that everything here was brought here. This was originally just a bit of swamp. So the weird thing to consider is why did they bring some of the things that they brought. Okay. Like Let's fog. head back out this way. Just a mist makes it hard Crossing back over the airplane wing. Like the fog. We've already been up here before. And so let's head down. Just about time to eat. Okay, so we've got a brewing station here. We got a uh, shelf here with some toys on top of it and that kettle. Uh, then How's we can come over here. We got another yeah. Super Thought oh, antifreeze okay. bottle. Got some bowling pins. A lot of good junk here. Uh, some weight, so that's some good lead right there. Now it's gonna be but I don't need 30 pounds of weight because that would definitely put me over encumbered. Uh, an aluminum tin pitcher right there. The <laughs> aluminum, even if they say tin. Uh, we got a fridge here, nothing in that. A little kitchen with a buell that you can't pick up for whatever reason. More of these villagers who say the exact same stuff. Let's head back over this way. Not back, let's head over this way. So we can check this area out. There's a little sitting area out here. Coming around, oh, some grenades. <laughs> Coming around in here. Radio and uh, another, another few of these uh, wastelanders. Got a little brewing station right here, although, you know, it's not one that you can use. Coming over here, we have the music platform with a uh, tool chest here. With some uh, ammunition, some junk, and some caps. Leaving these uh, glass bottles behind there. We can now head back over here. And again, we've checked out this area already. And again, that was the ramp up over the Jeep. So let's head back across this bridge to this platform that we walked into to and across this bridge to head over here huh. we got an old bird cage there uh, just clutter in this area really no junk to pick up then we got an old broken safe got a tool case with some junk some 45 rounds more super thought antifreeze 
I'm not sure what the odds of finding all that super thought antifreeze are. This is the most interesting bedroom here in this area. Now, there is a magazine that can spawn here, and I found that before, so I'll put that little clip here. Okay. Now, then we got an explosives crate. Okay, got some grenades in there. Uh, then we got uh, a dresser. We got a uh, bobblehead here. This is the first time I found this bobblehead. Uh, then we got some medics, and there are a whole bunch of robot parts models. Uh, got an office desk fan, I'm going to take that. Uh, and there's another one right there. And then we got this little thing here. I'm critical of everything, but hold myself to the highest standard. SM. I'm not sure who that's uh, attributed to there, but then we have another one of these creepy clown paintings. I'm, I, those are so weird. This is a strange little room. It is not like this... Um, it's not like this is a Halloween decorations thing. This is like this all the time. Uh, okay, let's head back through here. Go, and there's another way up right there, by the way. We can come over here. We got a Nuka-Cola machine here with a Nuka-Cola cherry in it. And then we got uh, another fridge here with more Nuka-Cola cherries and the Salisbury steak. So we got, we got some fruit, um, sorry, some food in there. Some spices there. We can head across this bridge to the bar. And we got a chest board, some bottles. Coming around here, got a submachine gun, a Mr. Teddy, or sorry, Mr. Fuzzy. Checking inside this fridge, there's a bobblehead. I found this one before. I'll even share that little clip here, even with this one here. All right, I'm going to grab that one too. And some 45 rounds. Actually, let me grab that uh, right away, regardless of whether or not I need it. And there's a beer bottle that they just left in the fridge. Some whiskey there. Cigar box. How's it going? Okay, passing these villagers again. All right, like now rain, let's head over through here, and let's head over to I think this is the last platform. Yeah, because that's the, uh, the like Halloween platform over there. Uh, something to point out real quick while we're up here. They've got these <laughs> these outhouses over here that are just in the swamp. There's no actual toilets in them, or not even toilets, but you know what I mean. Places to sit. I'm not sure what that was all about. Um, then we got this bearskin rug room with uh, more beds, a dresser. Actually, I actually think that's a changing table. Um, anyway, uh, then we can come over here. Got some sugar and some spices. And we've got another route up, which again comes back down here near this cooking spit. Uh, and here's again one of the water purifiers. Okay, oh, and a toolbox with some more adjustable wrenches here, so again, more good gears. And I don't think I pointed out this toolbox here. Okay. I think that is everything here. Um, thinking back in my head, there are a couple other recipes, actually. Let me see if I can't find where those typically are real quick. Alright, yeah, so here's where you can find all the recipes. And it's here. Right up inside this uh, little box right here. Okay. And with that, I think that I've shown you everything that I've found. Now, again, I've been here, man, four or five times before this. I even tried to record this video once before. Again, I've been dealing with so many weird frame rate issues out here. Um, I hope this shows you <laughs> the things you can find out here. Uh, and this is what I'm going to be doing for the surveil videos going forward. Again, visiting these sites multiple times to try to get all the collectibles, especially because these places are changing and they no longer match the guides as to where you can find stuff. So just keep that in mind. This is going to take a little bit longer to put out because I'm going to have to actually be searching these sites multiple times in order to find the highest number of collectible items that you can find in these locations. Anyway, though, uh, again, the resources you can find here, plastic and those multiple super thought antifreeze bottles. And we found a good amount of adjustable wrenches and adhesive in terms of duct tape and wonder glue. So if you're looking for those things, this is a good place. Along with that, we found a lot of glass in terms of bottles. So good sources for those things. This has been the Resolute Cartographer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.